Got it. <laughs> hey, yo, what's good, new gang? Today I'm going to get to Sensei. Hujiru, Yujiru, Yujiro, Yujiru, hope I'm saying that right, Hanma, the Black Air Force Demon. If y'all don't to the channel, subscribe, help your boys 20k. Let me know what you guys want to see next down below. Listen, I know I'm late with it. This is before homie's fucking channel got uh, terminated because he got hacked, you know what I'm saying? I'm fortunate as fuck, I'm not gonna lie, bro. And I, bro. Not only him, but somebody I know personally, bro. His shit got hacked too. Like, what the fuck is going on with people hacking accounts? You know what I'm saying? But he got his channel back. Good fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? But hey, straight into it. Let's get it. There are men who fight. And then there are men who are great at fighting. And then there are those <laughs> that get knocked down in sixth grade by their school bullies. Like, why didn't you just give him the lunch money? Bro just wanted an extra slice of pizza and now you knocked out. Now you face first in the urinal. Everybody call oh, you no. urinal cake. Like, I don't, <clears throat> I'm getting off, I'm getting off track. But there are men <laughs> who are great at fighting and then there are demons. Today we are here to talk about one such demon. I will tell you a story about a man who single-handedly had two children that he not only paid child support for, he said f them baby moms, but he also neglected and abused them on the regular. One was a delinquent and the other was a motherfucking pill head because somebody helped this man jack out like, come on bro, this man got hella steroids and shit. like somebody get him some medical, my bad, my bad, my bad. We're here to talk about a man who single-handedly stopped the United States military, a man who has killed hey, all yo. types of animals, a called PETA, a polar bear, lions, giant elephants a man with a literal demon face on his back and i ain't talking about having a demon on his back like nba young boy not chasing after him bro i'm talking about a literal demon face because there are men there are gods they're soft ass niggas. and then Yo. there is yujiro yujiro all right, so from the intro, man, you know what time it is, bro. And please believe I done seen the comments, bro. Bro, you a Ujiro video. Please do a Ujiro video. <laughs> Ujiro this, Ujiro that. Why don't you Ujiro go get some bitches? How about that? Thanks. Uh, damn, bro. That was trash. <laughs> All right, yo, if that was trash, leave a like, bro. If that was hard, leave a like, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> but we got a like go for this video, bro, because I done seen a couple things that I'm working on, but I need to see a little bit of support, bro. I done seen yo, yo. Like, Sin, I want the UK video. All right, cool. Sin, I want the JoJo Part 5 video. Sin, I want the Attack on Titan video. Listen, listen, listen. I will do... All this man is one human, bro. You gotta give him time, you know what I'm saying? All three of those videos, I promise, I swear to God, I will do those videos. If you get this video to 20,000 likes, bro, if you get this... Where are we at? 23. Oh, it's coming, boys. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. 20,000 likes and 200,000 views, I swear to God. I views? To hey, hey, my boy, you gotta bump it up now, you know what I'm saying? 25, 350 views, you know what I'm saying? I will do all three of those videos right hand up to him. But yo, go yeah, that yeah. though. We got to talk about this man, Ujiro, bro, for a minute, bro. Because as soon as this man gets introduced, bro, we got to call this nigga Peter, bro. Somebody call Peter. Somebody call the Veterinarian Organization of America, bro. Please get some veterinarians on the line, bro. This man smoked the polar bear as soon as he came in. Like, bro, this man, Ujiro, did not like Coca-Cola's growing up. This man smoked the Coca-Cola <laughs> bear off the early. This man ain't like Coca-Cola's. That's crazy. Like, bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. You know what? It's cold, bro, when he's smoking animal, bro. Takemura from Epo, smoke the bear. Like, come on, bro. Yo, Ujiro, uh, smoke the polar bear. Like, also... Bro, it's an MMA fighter. Apparently, he used to fucking wrestle or, like, fight off uh grizzly bears or some shit like that. Uh, Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure he's Russian. I forgot his fucking name, bro. MMA fighter. Pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about, if you guys watch MMA. Ujiro, smoke it's the crazy. giant elephant. Also, Ujiro, smoke the lion. Like, bro, Ujiro be smoking a lot, bro. Yo, donkey, you feel me? Beat a dragon, oh, you know shit. what I'm saying? From Shrek. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he beat the dragon, then he married her. And he hit the dragon. You feel me? Like, come on, stop, stop, my man. <laughs> now, nah, let me stop playing. But hey, anyway, so, this man smoked the polar bear off the early, bro. But let's fast forward to this Hanayama and Baki fight, bro. Because, oh my God, bro. When Baki the grappler and Baki Maxim tournament, this man, Ujiro, was a demon, bro. This man pulled up on Hanayama's fight, bro. Oh my God, bro. Like, bro, you know when they cold when he pulls up like p diddy bro pulled up in the helicopter hey, bro it's bad boy it's bad boy for life this man came <laughs> out the helicopter and dropped in like he was in the matrix bro jumped out the helicopter like morpheus trying to get away from the agent smith yo he jumps in there first thing he says is hey you know i gotta hit that hood translation for y'all he was like yo what it do baki 
gang gang psych nigga, bitch ass nigga, you soft as hell what did you talk not my son you a weakling and look oh. at this big nigga with the tattoos what you think you in a yakuza game big buff ass nigga, for no reason i'll drop you right now nigga. Stop playing with me. Bro. Like he started talking crazy. Man, my man Hanayama back was tatted up, though. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. But he had all types of cuts yeah. on his back, bro. Like, damn, Hanayama, did somebody give you your 13th reason? Well, bro, as soon as this man gets oh, here, yo, no. he starts punishing Hanayama because Hanayama was not for none of the bullshit, bro. He was like, yo, you know I'm gonna hit you with that translation. He was like, <clears throat> hey, yo, who the f is you talking to, boy? I will really get your fake Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 looking at <laughs> And he started talking kind of crazy. He was like, yo, stop playing with me, dad. He ran up. He's like, hmm. Big ass telegraphed ass swing, boy. You don't get oh, your bulky God. ass somewhere, bro. You Jiro. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Big ass telegraphed ass swing, boy. You don't get your. Oh, nah, bro. Not in the knees. Man, got your rage knees now, bro. <laughs> Shout out your age. A bulky ass somewhere, bro. Yujiro nah, punished bro. this man Hanayama, bro, badly. Had this down on his last. I mean, he was already on his last from the Baki fight, but man, Yujiro came in here and just finished off the scraps. At this point, yo, he beat this so bad, they jumped into a flashback, bro. Now we get into a flashback where we get like this Yujiro and Baki's mom whole meeting, bro. Now, Baki's mom, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't saying she a gold damn nominee, but you ain't messing with no bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Baki's mom was a big, big gold digger, bro. Nah, I'm just playing. She wasn't really a gold digger, bro, but she was like kind of living that luxurious life. She came from nothing, bro. Like, and the dude that she was with, this slick ass John Travolta hairstyle ass, this grease hairstyle ass. Like, bro, he Grease. looking like Steven Seagal and shit. Grease is crazy. Like, I ain't gonna lie. He was kind of clean. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Kind of looking like my man Razor Ramon. You feel me? Hey, rest in peace to my man Scott Hall, by the way. You already know what it is. Much love. But yo, this man Yujiro's at this party. I ain't gonna lie. He in there with the tux looking kind of clean. I, I ain't gonna hold you. They get in there, yo. Baki mom starts instantly choosing, bro. She start looking like... Huh. And this man, Ujiro, looking back at her like, how you mad she choosing me? I like what she do to me. Like, bro, he was kind of talking crazy. I ain't gonna hold you, though. He gave her that look like, yeah. He started undressing her with her eyes and all that. She over there biting her lip. This, this dude see her. He mad as hell. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. He channeled his inner Chris Brown on this one. Yo, yo. smack the shit out of her. I'm like, bro, what is oh, going no. on right now? How you just slapping her? Nobody even did anything. He slapped her and everybody was shocked like, oh, my God. And then they went back to doing what they were doing. They went back to eating their little finger sandwiches and shit. They did not. That motherfucker was like, yep, just a, just, just another hole. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I care. So at this point, this dude was tight at Ujiro, so he pulled up on him. But he had, like, John Wayne Gracie there. Like, this Gracie ass. I think his name was actually Gracie. It was, like, some jujitsu master or something. He was there looking at Ujiro like he wanted to smoke. So, you feel me? He's like, let me fight for your honor. They get in the ring. I'm like, okay, what's about to happen? I ain't gonna lie, bro. He punished this Gracie. That you just you did not work. He straight slapped this Weave. Hey, Put this nigga straight down. After this, yo, this man Ujiro said one of the coldest things I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Yo, he went to the room where she was at, bro. Looked her dead in her face. Where the fuck are you running to, bro? And you're just gonna leave your wife there? So one of the coldest things I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Yo, he went to nah, that man a bitch. the room where she was at. That man a bitch. Yeah, bro, looked her dead in her face and said, <clears throat> I've come to collect you. I said, you've come to collect her? Oh my God. Like, bitch, what is she, a Christmas ornament? She's some sort of antique? She's horny right now, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this about to take her to Pawn Stars. Like, yo, what is she, a Gen Mint Charizard? <laughs> Damn. So her husband walks in the room while he's in here talking to her and pulls the motherfucking blicky out on him. He went all the way around and grabbed Man. Bro, and this is when I first really saw, well, besides the time that he killed a polar bear and then he knocked out Gracie, but this is when I really knew this was different, bro. When a nigga can kill a nigga that got a gun to the back of their head, bro, this man was looking like the black dude from the training videos. Yo, you know the one I'm talking about with the body armor? <laughs> He put the gun to the back of this dude, Ujiro, head. He killed her husband, literally right in front of her and said, I know you enjoyed this. Broke this nigga's neck. She smiled at him when he did it. I She's hard, bro. I'm telling you, she is horny as fuck right now. Pick me up and fact me. That's what's going through her mind right now, bro. I'm like, oh, this bitch is a demon too. I ain't gonna lie. He looked her dead in the face again, yo. Guess what she said, dweeb? Oh my God, son, what did dweeb. he say? Yo, dweeb, guess what he said, my Yo, said, tell me what he said. Guess what he said? What did he say? He said, you're gonna bear my son. Like, bro, this nigga looked dead in her face. Said, you're gonna bear my son. And then fucking right there while her dead husband was on the ground. This is a demon. Trees, trees, trees. Gold digger for a short trees.
demon. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is crazy. Bruh. So, anyways, we come back to life, yo, after he Bruh. punished Hanayama. Oh my god, he did Hanayama dirty, yo. So his wife went up to him, bro. Really on some clangy shit. I'm like, oh my god, bro. They in the bedroom. She, you know, she trying to get it on. You feel me? She feeling that Yujiro presence. You feel me? She wants some of that demon duh. You feel me? Yo, shut up, my man Dash. You feel me? <laughs> Dachi. Good put all that by, you know what I'm saying? Same here, partner. You feeling that Yujiro presence, you feel me? She wants some of that demon duh, you feel me? Yo, shut up, my man Dash, you feel me? He that duh, <laughs> you feel me? Okay, yeah. she, it sounded like she was doing something to the duh, I don't know. Yeah. So I ain't gonna lie, as she <laughs> ran up on him, yo, like a stone cold killer he is, he channeled his inner NFL, bro, and hit her with the meanest stiff arm ever. Damn. He was like, bitch. COVID, give me six feet. Bam, push this <laughs> down. I'm like, oh my God, bro. But then he changed his mind after she got mad at him, yo. She came and bit him and shit. He kind of bro, but then he- She tried stabbing man's cause she was getting no deal. You gotta be a horny ass, sexually frustrated ass motherfucker, boy. To be hurting the person that can give you all that. Changed his mind after she got mad at him, yo. She came and bit him and shit. He kind of got turned on and it made love to her anyway. How you push a bitch off with the stiffness of your bro. arm, bro? And then she still want the duh. And then you gave it to her. Bro, man, somebody just a Playboy partnership or something, bro. This is making love to everybody. Crazy. So Rocky starts training after this, yo, because he's tight about this Hanayama fight. He's like, yo, f my dad, f my mom, yo. She really out here on this bush. I ain't f with none of these. Nah, he really did want a relationship with his mom, bro, but his mom was just so, like, caught up in him. It was weird, bro. The whole... Yo, I hate when fucking... When people do that, bro, they be so caught up in their relationship, not give a fuck about their kids. Like, what are you doing, bro? You worry about the wrong shit right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it was so weird, bro. Like, there was just some weird, like, Alabama-type vibes going on sometimes when she would, like, touch Baki certain ways, bro. And I wasn't really feeling that. I'm gonna come all the way clean. But anyways, this man pulls up on Baki while he's training and said, in one month, we will fight. Like, bro, you ain't even get this a choice. You just gonna tell him, hey, yo, in a month, we gonna scrap. Like, bro. Damn. And then the fight is to find out if he's worthy of being your son. He's like, in one month, we'll fight. If you lose, you're not my son no more. Like, bro, that's like an adoption agency making the adoptees uh, watch two little unarmed children fight each other for who can be the son. And that, that actually ass. happened in the Maxim tournament with Jack and Bot. It's crazy how things come full circle. Yo, imagine that. Crazy. Imagine you go to an adoption agency and there's two kids scrapping for parents. That's basically what this man is on right now. Uh, yo, you remember the ape that he befriended, Baki? You remember he, he, he beat the ape up and then he brought the ape his, like, wife's head and shit? This man, Yujiro, went and smoked him because he felt like he was weak. He's like, that's not your friend. He was a weakling. Ah. And put the nigga's head in front of Baki. And he, like, had the blood of his head. And he, like, made Baki blind for a minute. Baki's trying to fight him. He can't even see what's going on. Got the blood of his best friend Whoa. on him. But then Baki did some weird shit, bro. Let, let's talk about when he went to the edge of the cliff, yo. It was like... Fuck, Pops. I ain't gonna lie. That man don't give a fuck about Nathan, bro. Like the lake and all that and he had like the teeth or the fang of this ape remember the fang that the ape gave him why did this nigga baki eat that Stick like now you can fight yujira with me like ew this ate gingivitis like bro that's disgusting <laughs> it made the crunchy noise and all that sound like he was eating chicken bones but anyways uh, let's move on so yujira wanted to see the prime minister so he pulled up to see him this man is fucking chicken bones but anyways uh, let's move on so you cornered like Yujiro a wanted to hoe bro see the prime minister what the fuck? Nah, bro. If you need this much people on you to protect, just to yo, nah, bro. So he pulled up to see him, bro. There's an entire army regime in front of him, literally a hundred men. He looks him dead in the face, and he says, "One man versus a hundred cowards. It's the same as a one v one." Like, bro, like he's basically bro. saying y'all are the equivalent of one actual man. He called all of them bitches to their face. That's crazy. Ends up punishing all of them. Goes to the prime minister, then he leaves here, and he meets a guy that he's friends with. I guess this guy's uh, like a weapons master or something. But he had this titanium alloy bow and this bow and arrow, bro. He tells this. I want you to try to kill me with it. Now I'm looking at this little dude and I ain't gonna lie, bro. It looked like Bret Hart with a kimono one. Bro had the slick back joint. I ain't gonna hold you. I didn't know if this in the 80s or not. I'm like, bro, if you don't get some product out of your hair, I swear to God, if you put a lighter near him, his head would explode. But hey, that's neither near or there, bro. He pulls the bow out, bro. And before he could even pull the bow, this man, Yujiro, gonna teleport it next to him. Nick the arrow before it even released. This man, Yujiro, is literally a demon. Look at his fucking face, bro. This man's a scary dude right now. Hell no.
bro. Like the demon on his back, like he needs an, uh, a black Air Force imprint on his back. Black Tim's something bro god damn the next thing we see you jero in though man was kind of sus bro this man in a motherfucking speedo flexing bro i ain't gonna lie he is flexing in front of a shorty though so i guess it ain't really that crazy but he like turned on by his own reflection he does this again yo in the like the newer baki and the netflix he's like sitting in the hotel room spread out hey, bro he be flexing stretching his leg putting it behind his ear like bro if you don't get your freaky ass somewhere like, we don't need to know that you can put your legs behind your ear hey, yo hold on <laughs> Just saying, you ain't gonna make me act up, you sure? I'm just saying. But yo, she <laughs> went to go grab him again, yo, and get stiff arm again. Bro, this keeps stiff arming this bitch. At this point, yo, I'm just like, yo, you. And she, hey, listen, she's still there, bro. She's still there. She's still hard. All that hernie, you know what I'm saying? Do not want her, bro, clearly. And the said it make it any better. He look her dead in the face talking about, I wanted a son, and he gave me Baki. I'm like, oh what my the God. Fuck? He called Baki his daughter. Like, bro, this nigga. Different. Like, bro, this man out here assuming Baki gender. Like, bro, come on, somebody, hey, yo, calm down, yo, LGBTQ and all that. You feel me? They go, they go cancel this. Like, he better relax. They go have, yo, that's crazy, bro. She all mad as running out of the hotel, crying like, why won't he love me? I gave him that Gucci and that go go up three thousand so many times. He doesn't love me. Baki is your this. fault, Baki. She started punching Baki and she. We, we, make it, make it, make it. Uh, why won't he love me, Baki? Baki. Bro. She, yo, nah, bro, that's crazy, bro. She's in her far. She's in her. She's make it, make it, make it. Her own child, bro. Over a man's. Nah. Pack her up. Get clapped, pack her up after that. You know what I'm saying? You can get it, mama. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. But you out of here after that. Yeah, I try to give him everything. I don't know. Is it? Is it because I don't season my food? Like, I, I, I don't bro. know what it is. She mad as hell. Like, bro, if you get your clingy ass somewhere, like, this Aki, uh, his weird ass, he starts begging for her love as she's talking about Yujiro. She get mad, starts punching him even more, and it bites the... Like, bro, what's up with you and biting? Like, everybody that comes around Baki's mom got to get a tetanus shot. I'm going to come all the way clean. So, bro, I'm going to stiff arm her, stiff arm her shit if she bite me by. We, we ain't with that. Get the gawking. Anyways, fast forward. Yujiro and Baki are finally about to fight, bro. The whole squad is here. It's mad, bro. Like, everybody's here to watch this, bro. But right before they fight, a fucking earthquake happens. And I'm like, uh, first off, are they in California? Like, what is this, San Andreas? What is this, 2011? Uh, like, well, what is happening right now? Why is there a random earthquake yo. happening when they're about to fight? And then this Yujiro literally punches the ground. And I'm like, is he mad? He getting his frustrations out because there's an earthquake? This punch the earthquake this punch the ground so hard the fucking earthquake stopped he was Imagine. like no interruptions i'm like god damn here earth bending because he's mad so this man baki goes he's come straight in trying to y'all fighting your pops well you guys fight your pops to show him that you ain't a bitch Man. Choke you, Jero, out, bro. But everybody that's looking is like, oh, it looks like a dad is holding their son on his back. It looks like this giving Baki a piggyback ride. He eventually gets mad at this and flings his Baki off like a bug, smacks his off like a housefly, swats him like a mosquito, throws this. Yo, you know you that n you use one hand and you throw a grown ass man. Baki was hitting this n a million times. Bro. It did literally nothing, bro. He's hitting him. Mick it, maka, muka, maka. He was punching this so many times, bro. And this Yujiro was literally unfazed, bro. It literally wasn't even affecting him at all. He's having a full-blown conversation while getting punched. And while this all happened, he called the whole crowd weaklings while he was getting punched. He's like, oh, Baki, just the king of the misfits. Like, damn, he said y'all all bitches and he- This man's the Hulk on steroids 10 times, bro. Man takes steroids 20 times a day throughout the entire day. That's what, that's all he eats. That's all he eats, bro. That's all he eats. He don't eat nothing. Else. He don't eat or drink nothing else but that, bro. He's the king of the bitches. Like, bro, he started punishing this. Like, this episode was called Lullaby, bro. And bro. it wasn't because nobody was singing to him. Nah, they called it Lullaby because he was putting this Baki to sleep. Said he could have killed him twice in one tenth of a second. Like, bro, how fast and how dangerous do you have to be? He's like, gotta keep your guard up, son. I could have killed you twice in one tenth of a second. Like, god damn. At this point, Yujiro is punching the shit out of Baki, bro. So his mom intervened. Like, he's on top of Baki, literally oh going god. to downtown. Gotta right, cause another earthquake with his fucking head, bro. Out of Baki, bro. So his mom intervened. Like, he's on top Mama. of Mama. Baby, listen. 
We we going back to the room. Fuck these two right now. You and me. Let's let's go. Vamos. Vamos. Baki literally what going to do? pound town on pause. Pound town? That's crazy, eh? Yo. Oh, anyway, she's on top of this man Baki literally rocking him. Beaky, 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 beaky. Beam, beam, beam. He was punching Baki so hard and so much, bro, that his mom got in it, bro. You know that he was punishing him because his mom literally don't give a fuck about Baki. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. She rocked that dick, bro. Hit that dick with a clean one. Miki punched him so hard it broke her wrist, bro. Her fucking hand was limp. I ain't gonna lie. She went to grab him and he killed her. <laughs> oh, this killed his what? Oh, my God, bro. This nigga is different, bro. I Bruh. Somebody please lock this away. Dang, I'm gonna die. Dang, bye. Listen. You could have been alive with me. I take care of you, you know what I'm saying? You could be clingy with me. Fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? We could get busy whenever you want. Fuck is you saying? Look at you. Now you dead fuck. I killed this what? Oh my God, bro. This nigga is different, bro. Like somebody please lock this away and yeah. throw away the key, bro. Like, bro, please, the feds, somebody hit this with a nuke, bro. He killed her and called her a prostitute as he was doing it. How you gonna kill your wife and then you gonna act like her pimp at the same time? Like, yeah, I was getting tired of this prostitute ass. It's like, bro, god damn. Bro, at this point, yo, the police officer walked up like, bro, there's a lot of things I can let you get away with, but not killing a woman. He backhanded the police officer. Literally, hit this with a back fist. Bro, y'all better get the fuck up out of there, boy, before y'all all dead. Look, this man's hurting. Did he do that to you? Why are you there? Fucking her looking hurting and shit. Leave. You about to fuck. Nah, bro. You motherfuckers don't make sense. Yes, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Give that an award. Anytime I see 12, get fucked. I'm like, I'm with that. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> he literally punished everybody else oh, there, bro. He literally laid out the whole battlefield of misfits, as he called them, and then hopped back in his helicopter like P. Diddy once again. This nigga think he's Sean Diddy Combs. I hopped in a fucking helicopter. What is this, GTA 5? Oh, my uh -huh. God, bro. Now, this man, Bakio, this <laughs> the rest of this episode. This is the owner ring. I thought she died. Oh my God, bro. Now this man. I. I. <sighs> Bakio, this is the rest of this episode. This is the owner ring. You feel me? His mom's ring hallucinating, talking to her, and oh. talking to my uh, 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 after image. Like, bro, this weird ass. N anyway, fast forward to season two, bro. And we got Baki, and he's in his Maxim tournament, bro. But it's like this pre tournament, I think. Or like, it's like a pre. I don't remember exactly, bro. Anyway, he's in the middle of this motherfucking ring, bro. And this man, Yujiro, showed up and stopped him with one finger, bro. He beat this nigga Baki with one finger. <sighs> punish this bro when you get beat by one finger you're a bitch, bro like the only time you should get beat by a finger is is thumb wrestling bro like he bro oh jeez this nigga, this nigga, you girl's different this is when we first meet dope or rochi bald ass this fucking buff mr clean hey, looking lad. ass stumpy <laughs> looking at it call him stumpy because he lost his stump in the new baki bro or not lost his stump but his hand on the <laughs> mega man arm bro anyway he showed up and challenged Ujiro, bro we find out dope orochi's mad at Ujiro because this nigga had scars on his face put there by Ujiro, bro we find out we know because this dope orochi was literally sitting at a table eating having drinks and this man Ujiro just walked up snuck this nigga and punished him for no reason he had no reason to do it bro this man was just walking it was like the next guy I see i'm gonna slice their face open and yo he cut this nigga's face open Bro, I can't even believe that this even happened. So anyways, fast forward to their f And then, bro, and like throughout these, throughout this whole thing, bro, man's hand is in his pocket. He has at least one hand in his pocket. Look at him leave after he just did that to homie. This nigga's face open. Bro, I can't even believe that this even happened. Look at that. He just turns around, puts his hands in his pocket. Oh, y'all have a good day now. Not to see here. What the fuck? So anyways, fast forward to their fight, bro. He punishes this nigga, bro. He tells this nigga. Dopo Orochi, and this is how you know the code. He says, I'll reward you for being a little less trash than last time. Oh like, bro, my. you know when the nigga snuck you, cut your face open, and you had the confidence to think you could fuck with him because he snuck you, and then he punishes you again and says, I'm gonna reward you with an ass whooping. Like they don't learn they don't learn their lesson, bro. They they never learn their lesson. Bro, when the nigga rewards you with more hands, like, what is this nigga robbing? Like, bro, this nigga, oh my god. It was getting punished. Weave, weave, dodge, kick, punch, like hitting this nigga with all types of combos. Switch his stance up and everything. They talking about this man, Ujiro, got a stance that can't even be countered. He literally can't be countered by any side. You have to fight him physically. So if he's more skilled than you, you're just gonna lose. Get walking up with the presence of a fucking Susano, you don't know what to do. I ain't gonna lie, Dopo started 
hey, real question though. Could this man stop a bullet? The fuck is you talking about? You stop this bullet? I'm about to shoot at you, bro. Fighting back a little Let's bit, started out. punching this nigga in the chest. You feel me? Due to his pride being hurt, but this nigga wasn't even harmed, man. Ujiro was literally eating all the punches. They get the mixing, and then Baki came out, bro. And this was a mistake, bro. Baki should have stayed behind stage because as soon as he came out, this nigga Ujiro's whole pride kicks in, bro. This man's like, yeah, I'm about to start flexing on niggas. my son out here. This bitch ass. Nigga. So he started punishing Dopo Orochi at this point, bro. Showing his demon back and everything, yo. Due to Baki coming out, bro. His pride was hurt, I guess, because Baki was there. This man flexing like, bro. If you don't get your world's strongest man competition built ass out of here. <laughs> I'm losing this shit. Bro, I ain't gonna lie though. He punished Dopo Orochi though. Hit this nigga with his demon punch attack and he stopped this nigga Dopo Orochi's heart while he was standing. Bro, they had to do some sort of like super weird like lobotomy. No, it wasn't a lobotomy. What is that? That's when you take a brain out. What, what did I even get that from? I think my girl be saying that. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. But they did some weird <laughs> ass surgery on this put a needle in him. Some weird dude brought him back. Like, bro, they had to do some weird ass like damn near look like a jutsu just to bring this nigga back anyways fast forward though we meet this man jack hama bro the perky set nigga himself man the perky perky spinning on these perks like nah. got my laundry man this drunky ass nigga, bro all he do is pop steroids small ass body frail ass body bro he's big as hell when he's on the roys bro but as soon as them roys wear off bro this man out of Roger steam bro this shit. man looking like gear four luffy we need a stamina break like goddamn damn near deflated look like that one episode of spongebob where spongebob had those <laughs> them blow up arms and none yeah. of them shit's worse like, god damn <laughs> Anyways, Baki gets in between of Jack and Yujiro, bro. And that demon <laughs> ass nigga palmed the f out of Baki's face and pushed him into the wall. Like, get the f out of the way, brat. I'm like, God damn. Bro, cartwheeled into the wall, bro. The animation was mad hilarious. Like, editor, run that back a few times, bro. But play that, like, music while it's happening. Where it's like, <laughs> like that music, bro. But play that back. But how does just cartwheeling over and over? Yo, no, what kind of animation? was that <laughs> anyways flashback to young ujiro bro this was literally fighting in the army and not using weapons against military ujiro, soldiers bro, bro because it was too e hands then he destroyed their ship bro blew their whole ship up now, i ain't gonna lie bro he bent that gun like in a cartoon where like you pull the gun out and, and like bugs bunny would like bend it so you'll send me sam would like shoot himself like that's how he bent that sh and he yo don't put a rank in the king scene in there yo because my yeah, you photo or not you photo because my uh uh uh, 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 uh antiplex be tripping bro don't don't do that anyways he heard some soldiers walking past him he jumps in, bro is that what that cut was jumps through the ground and punishes all these soldiers then we meet diane Steele, bro i think her name is diane but he called her jane i don't know some blonde hair oh she smokes these yo this shit look like some rambo bro, shit. i think her name is diane the scenery what the fuck in but he called her jane i don't know some blonde hair Oh, she smokes these with a machine gun after he destroys them. She was talking heavy to this good old talking about, yeah, you ain't been around a woman before. You only 16. I'd have heard about you, virgin and little dick and They started talking crazy. He starts walking away. They was in this talking about you, uh, Jiro, bro, the commanders and shit, generals and shit. They was calling this a walking nuke, bro. Like, a what kind of fucking nuke. is that, bro? So this mo What kind of shit? I mean, hey, a walking nuke is pretty accurate and, uh i think it was strohan i think is his name he's talking to this man yujiro bro this man yujiro grabs this nigga strohan up and then has his own men smoking him to try to get yujiro he wasn't even there they got a nigga vest on his oh my god yeah good fucking thing he had that on oh man was about to smoke him to get rid of yujiro that's how you know he's a demon like bro's like sarge my bad <laughs> started lighting this up like fourth of july they probably knew though before they shot they probably knew he was he had a uh a thing so i was like all right fuck it let's aim at his chest anyways after this this was running through a base with diane and they tried to set the up bro but he is not dumb he's like how did you know about this secret tunnel that they built they built it mad long ago he ends up smacking her again puts her to sleep and then he walks out with her fucking dead hanging ass body they start shooting at him through her too i'm like bro they will literally smoke anybody to get the ujiro bro like god damn he walks over to the general grabs this by the face and breaks his neck in front of him too i'm like bro i can't even believe this bro this literally smoking everybody anyways we go back to real time at this point jack and baki done happen i might talk about the max and tournament if y'all want yo also yeah if you get them likes like i said bro, i'll do that i'll do that too if y'all want that yo let me know in the comments anyways this man jack done lost bro so this go and cut this jack jugular vein this man bleeding out like bro somebody get his health kit some bandages a 50 shield something this is about to be on the bleed out this 
needs that live. Like, God damn. This runner with a bleeding juggler vein, bro, and gets punched dead in his into the ground. This you, Jiro, like, what kind of idiot loses twice in one day? I'm like, bro. Then we get to the last episode of this, bro, and we got this motherfucker, you, Jiro, bro. Oh, my God, bro. They on a special mission just to smoke you, Jiro. They sent the Green Berets and the Navy SEALs after this nigga. He literally smoked. This man chilling, bro. This man's unfazed by all the bullshit coming his way. Smoke you, Jiro. They sent the Green Berets and the Navy SEALs after this nigga. He literally smokes them all, bro. There's this one part where they trick this nigga to fall in a pit of spikes with grenades. This nigga sets off all the grenades, jumps out, blinds them all with the explosion, and then makes them all shoot each other. <sighs> the lead is like, stop, stop shooting. By that point, everybody got smoked. This nigga took out everybody. They even sent this nigga Unchained Biscuit Oliver out of him, and that didn't even work. My nigga sent the roast beef himself. This man Biscuit Oliver big as Bro, this, you don't get this goddamn this like Mark Henry. Like, if you don't get your Chuck Rose built ass out of here, this like a Chuck Rose in a Hawaiian shirt. Ain't no goddamn sense. Yeah. Anyways, bro, before I end this video, bro. man, I gotta talk about one more thing, bro. Oh my god, bro. I've spoke about this before, bro, but it's a Ujiro video, so we gotta talk about the wheelchair fight, bro. I think it was the newest Baki on Netflix, not Baki Hama, but the one before that, the second season, bro. This man is fighting this old ass scaly looking ass in a wheelchair, bro. Bro's skin is messed up, first off. Can we talk about this man's skin? Bro was looking like reptile from Mortal Kombat, bro. Bro look like a salamander, bro. Bro look like a Geico lizard. Like, what is going on with your skin, bro? It looked like somebody's Man, look like a goddamn drawing book, boy. A drawing page. Fill, it, fill, uh, fill in the colors. Smacks you in the face with a bunch of tacks. Like, bro, your face and skin, your whole body is f***ed up. You're scaly. Like, bro, what, what is going on, bro? Bro look like a, a mutated lizard. Like, he's like that one Spider-Man. Like, bro, what is going on with your skin? Somebody get this some Luberderm something, nigga. Neosporin for that antibiotic cream, like <laughs> me Botox or something. Anyway, Kim K got. I ain't gonna hold you. So they get to scrapping, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. This in a wheelchair, bro. <laughs> My God, this man Ujira walked this out here, bro. First off, you're a demon. You walked the out here. You're about to smoke in a wheelchair, but old dude was giving Ujira them hands. He Good shit. I was about to say, did he at least connect with homie? He was giving. He, big it, big it, make it, make it, beam, beam. Good this man shit. Baki even questioned it. He was like, bro, that's not even my dad, bro. I don't even know who this is right now, but that ain't my dad. Then this man Ujiro started turning up, bro. As soon as you got him riled up and Baki said that, bro, he started beating the brakes off of this old ass, bro. I mean, he was beating the senior citizen off this. He was Yo, he really hates his son, though. Literally anything he says or does, even looking at him pisses him off. That's crazy. Beating the social security checks out of this nigga. He was, every time he hit him, you just seen coins dropping. This nigga hitting him so hard. It look like Mario when he step on a spike, bro. This is ding, 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 ding. Look like my Sonic when the coins come out, bro. He was beating the shit out of this nigga. Beat the scaly skin off this nigga. He beat this so bad that nigga faked his death. Stopped his own heart to not catch the fade. You know you're a demon when you make a nigga kill himself and they weren't even really dead. Bro said, f*** all that. I'd rather stop my own heart than to get punished by this in this goddamn Bruh. arena right now. That man pulled it. Nah, no. The man prepared. He said, huh, when I'm done, I'm going to check their heart pulse, their heart rate, just to see if it's beating. Bro stopped his own heart. I thought he really died of old age. I ain't going to lie. This look like he 147, but this you Jiro scared him in an early death. Bro, all in all, bro, this man you Jiro is a goddamn demon, bro. I swear to God, bro. There's, there, there's not too many people that have as much black Air Force energy as this, bro. Like, that. Like, I'm glad my man CJ put this nigga at the round table, bro. This need to go at the round table. This need to go at the head conglomerate, the Supreme Court system, bro. Like, 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 I don't know where this need to go, bro, but he, he's past black Air Force energy, bro. Black Timberlands, black, you know, he got black shacks on. Like, this nigga, the Uggs and all that. Like, bro, this need to goddamn. Bro. This man's on a, man, this man's a fucking demon, bro. Bro, and I've seen so many videos of this Black Air Force energy with anime, bro, and these characters, bro. <sighs> They're fucking monstrosities, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, <sighs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. Compared to CJ and Sensei, bro, and how they talk about certain people and pretty much putting them in that Black Force, Black Air Force uh, um, category, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is wild, bro. Wild. I'm not gonna fucking lie. This hating ass nigga, bootleg ass CJ the Chan. This man hating pussy. Look at this ugly ass nigga, bro. Weirdo. Why, why you Jiro Chess look like a t shirt? 
Only a few comments, LMAO. Bro, why is niggas hate? I don't know, bro. People are fucking weird. W video, though. Jujiro. Bro, look, look, look at this man, bro. Look at this man. You don't want to fuck with this man, bro. What, what in your right mind is going to tell you, oh, yeah, you should, you, should, you should go mess with him. Go flip his nipple or sign. Go piss him off. What the fuck, bro? This man don't even care about his own son, bro. Killed his own wife. Makes you think he gonna hold back for you. You know what I'm saying? Hell nah. Fuck out of here, bro. That's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed, give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.